Guys, what's happening? Well, will you look at that machine right there? Kawasaki Z900 RS Cafe. And along with the Brock Street Meg exhaust, the Ivan's Tune, the 16.2 Sprocket, G2 Quick Throttle, Airbox Mods, Air Filter, she has got the performance chops to go along with those good looks. And if you're anything like me with yours, well, maybe you ride your motorcycle pretty aggressively. Do you feel like you're finding the limits of those stock tires? Well, let's have a chat about them. So from the factory, Dunlop Sportmax GPR 300s. This will give you an idea for how these tires are wearing after 1,800 miles of use. Now I do get this bike over on its side very regularly, wide open through and out of apexes give you an idea for the type of tread wear on the side and the level of flat spotting after those 1800 miles and it's getting a little bit pronounced about time to get another set of tires oh let's talk about the fronts okay guys up front there you go a little bit of an idea for tread wear up here fronts are always locked in at 36 psi the rears are typically in that 38 ish psi range okay guys so the question might be are the tires any good well they're not bad listen if you're not taking this bike too seriously you're not getting it out on bnc roads and really wringing its neck these tires are actually okay with the only complaint that i would have would be how fast that they started to flat spot but getting the bike out and really putting it through its paces the tires didn't really offer up a major slowdown for me in other words they didn't give me any sense for pause at least not as much as you might think now i have had them kick out a little bit on me um, i have had the bike push um, through corners fast sweepers things like that uh, but it was never anything that caught my attention or freaked me out or caused me to really change too much how I was riding the bike. I just basically got off the bike a little bit more and leaned more and just got the bike to complete the corner or the sweeper. It's happened a few times, but would that have happened with a more dedicated hyper sports tire, like an entry level tire, like a S23 or a Rosso 4? There's plenty of them out there. Those are the first couple that came to mind. Those would probably be more adequate for the way that I ride this motorcycle. Again, fairly aggressively. I would suggest that anything more though than that level of tire, that entry level hyper sports tire would probably be lost on this bike unless you're doing dedicated track work with it. I just don't think that you can generate enough heat to get a set of like Rosso 4 courses, something along those lines. I don't know that you'd be able to get those tires hot enough to get them to stick enough or at least get them to a temperature to make them stickier than some of the entry level bikes uh, or entry level tires, the way that they would work on this bike. They just heat up quickly and they stay hot for longer. Uh, so for the type of riding that I like to do, again, really getting after it in BNC roads, on ramps, off ramps, things like that, where I can really get the bike over and I can really lay into the throttle. Those are the types of tires that I would probably suggest if you are the same type of rider as I am. But again, if you're not and you're really more into the cruise, you're more into having the bike upright, I would probably suggest more of a sport touring tire. And there's plenty of them out there to choose from and it really doesn't matter which one you pick. They're all pretty good. Anything with a name brand of Pirelli or Metzler, something along those lines in the factory size will be more than enough tire for you and it will keep you on the road longer because they'll have a more durable carcass, they'll have a more durable uh, compound and they're gonna not flat spot the way that the factories did. Uh, for a point of uh, comparison, my Rosso 3s on the Daytona have more mileage than these tires do and still look absolutely just fine. So again, complaint, they flat spotted quick. But aside from that, not necessarily a bad tire, just probably one that's not up to the task for real aggressive riding, rather on the street and certainly not on the track. But that's just my opinion. If you've got one of these, post up your comments. Let me know what tires you're running, how you like to run your bike, what kind of modifications you have done to yours. 
Can't wait to hear what you have to say. And with that, that's a wrap. Adios.